start with something very different. This could be a little bit of an eye opener. Just like every book has a prelude and a synopsis, right? Our seminars also start with something like that. Just showing a presentation and leaving is not our aim and goal. We don't come here to just advertise ourselves. But through such gatherings, I wish to create a different mindset, a think tank, a different youth that is responsible for self and for the country. All right? So let's start. You are not yet ready for Europe if you still jump a signal. If you still go into a no car zone with your vehicle, maybe cycle, two wheeler, or car, whatever. If you still drive into a one way sign which is from the opposite direction. If you are habituated to throw trash on the road, if you still throw a water bottle, used water bottle on the road, if you do not stop your vehicle, your two-wheeler at a zebra crossing, allowing people to cross the road, if you flout common civic rules, then you are not yet ready for Europe. All right? If you can't study on your own, self-study, if you are habituated to copy-paste from Google for all your assignments, and now you have this chat GPT. What is this? If you can't take tough decisions on your own, if you're not emotionally strong, and if you can't live alone, if you can't cook, a meal, a complete meal. I'm not talking about omelette and sandwiches. Okay? If you don't know how to manage a home, if you can't speak English fluently, if you can't make new friends or are happy with one or two good friends, if you don't like to explore, if you can't associate imagination and innovation with your studies, you are not yet ready to go to Europe. Okay? If you do not possess, and this is very, very important, if you do not possess the bravery and the brutal honesty to criticize self, judge, and change, if you cannot stop picking on other people's mistakes, if you, give me a minute, if you cannot respect the goodness in another person, if you cannot adapt to a new environment, you are not yet ready for Europe. Remember, this list can go on and on. But remember, all of us have flaws. Humans have flaws. We make mistakes. However, it is important that we do not do the same mistake again and again. Right? It is a ratio that matters. There are people everywhere in the world. Everyone makes mistakes. But it's a ratio that matters. Alright? If you follow the above self rules for 21 days, how many days? 21. If you follow the self 
rules that I just explained. For 21 days, your brain and mind is wired to this new thinking pattern. Science, physics, chemistry, right? There's a wiring everywhere, right? Even a brain has a wiring. Therefore, on the 22nd day, the new wiring that has been created for the last 21 days will remind you of the mistake and that's when you have learned to overcome the wrong habit of not going into a road where it is one way. Of not stopping at a zebra crossing because remember it is the pedestrian's right first to the road. After that, it's a persistence and perseverance that creates new habits. Do you agree with this? What is a habit? What's a habit? Something that is inculcated in our daily routines. Right. And something that you keep doing again and again. Right. So if you just follow the same thing for 21 days, you will get into a new habit, right? Yes. That's all. That's all. Remember, it's not the nature that dictates the injustices happening in the world. It is the work of us people. The world is what we make of it. Let me tell you a story of a 19th century saint who talks about some self-affirmation, the story is huge. But the thrust of it and the gist of it is, he says, keep a note in one side of the corner that says, the world was created for me. One small note in one side of the corner, in one pocket, what will it be? The world is created for me. And in the other one, you will write, I am but just dust and ashes. In the other side. Right. What he means by saying this and creating this experiment, this will remind us of both the virtues. One virtue, our capacity to do good and our capacity for not doing good. And our importance and our nothingness, our ego. Right? So, remember these things, very important for today's youth, because along with higher education in Europe, which includes undergraduate, master, master's programs, PhD, postdoctoral also, we bring and being at the helm of our organization, we constantly take care of the smallest emotion of you, your parents, your friends. Yours is a very, very big decision you're taking in life. And we want to be the architects of it. Give us a chance and see the difference. Right? Thank you so much.